What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode of The Aussie Flipper. My name is Matt Diedrich, and I am an online reseller. What that means is I'll buy a product for the sole purpose of flipping it online for a profit. Hey, awesome to have you join me today because I've got 10 awesome items to get across to you, as I always do. It's been a really big week of furniture flipping, and I've been able to sell five items of furniture. So the sales numbers have really gone up this week as a result. So I'm really excited to get those across to you at the end of this episode. Uh, if you are here for the very first time, I do these videos every single Sunday. The sole purpose is to help you out there as a reseller find the same item and make the same profit. So if you're in a reselling by any means, casual, part-time, full-time, whatever the case is, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, give this video a like because it really does help the YouTube channel out a lot. Uh, 10 awesome items, heap of furniture, let's jump straight into it. Hey, before we get started guys, let me know in the comments below, what was your best sold sales item this week? What item did you buy? When did you sell it? What profit did you make? I always love to see those comments. So if you could add one in there, that would be great. My first sold sales item for you is this coffee table. I picked this one up off Gumtree. Now, he was listing it for $50. It sort of ticked all the boxes for me. There was no damage. It was solid hardwood. Had a unique feature to it in the big deep drawer that you can see in the middle there. Um, and really, this one didn't need a lot of work to be done to it. I knew that I could relist it for around 150 and it would probably sell. Now, I picked it up for 40 bucks. So it was in really good condition, didn't do anything to it when I did get it home. And in the space of four days, this one sold for $150. So exactly what I thought would happen and a really quick time frame as well, $110 profit. So coffee tables, really great space to play in. As long as it's solid hardwood, it's got something unique about it and it's uh, in good nick and there's no damage, you're generally gonna get around the 100 to $150. And if you can buy them on Marketplace around the $50 mark, well, that's money in your pocket. So I was really happy to get that one done with the coffee table. Unique story with this one was that he was moving house. Um, so he was trying to downsize, trying to clear out all this furniture. And as a furniture flipping reseller, this was heaven to me. So I said to him, well, have you got any other pieces of furniture? Is there anything else that I could buy? Now, I actually knew from a previous listing on Gumtree that he also had some bedside tables, but I did play a little bit coy to it and pretended like I didn't know. And then when I saw the bedside tables, I already knew that he had them listed for $50 on Gumtree. I said to him, look, mate, they look great. I'm happy to take them off your hands. Would you take $30? Not knowing the price on Gumtree. And he was curious. He said, well, are they for both or are they for each when you say $30? I said, for both, 30 bucks for both, would you take it? And when you're doing that negotiation on the spot, you're catching them off guard and they think quick and they just want to get rid of their furniture because they're moving house. He accepted the $30, guys. So in the end, I've got the coffee table for 40. I've got the bedsides off him as well for 30. I've spent 70 bucks with this guy and I've gotten out there, cleaned them up, put them on Marketplace on the very same day. Now this bedside table, has sold for $125. And it sold on the very same day that I bought it. So I've ended up making $95 profit off the bedside table, and I've made $110 profit off the coffee table. So, you know, this guy's downsizing. I've kind of helped him out a little bit here by getting rid of the furniture from his house so that he doesn't have to pay for the removalist. But I've also had a really good return in profit as well. So look, it's a really great time to be getting into furniture for these kind of stories. And you've really just got to kind of one, find the initial item that you are interested in on Facebook. But I really, really encourage you begin a conversation with that seller and try and ask some questions to uncover their story, find out if there is any more pieces of furniture that you could flip from them as well. Because that's a proven case that I've made a good $200 there in profit by just simply asking the question, what else have you got? And then negotiating on the spot, you'll always get a better purchase result. From there, if it is a good piece of furniture and it ticks all your boxes, there's no damage, it's solid hardwood, it's all in good condition, you're generally gonna do pretty well. So two items there to kick off this episode from my video that I put out on Tuesday around how to flip furniture. Um, it's just a proven case that furniture flipping, you can make a lot of money really quick. Now, I was really happy to see this one sell this week for item number three. It was a pair of Macbeth shoes that I picked up in the op shop for just $4. Now, this shoe is really prominent in the music industry. Tom DeLong, Blink 182, it's sort of his shoe, his brand. Um, I don't see it too much around Australia, but uh, it is a shoe that I've personally bought in the past. Um, so there is a niche out there. People in the music industry, they do buy this brand. Um, I was really happy to see it at four bucks in the op shop because it did sell on eBay for $31. I've made a $27 profit. Now, I just really want to put it into the episode today for those out there that are doing their shoe reselling, that if you do come across the Macbeth brand, it is well worth getting your hands on. This one sold within the space of a month. So look, it wasn't rapidly quick, um, but it is just a brand that I know will eventually sell. Um, and I don't personally come across it too much. So I think that ultimately helps the 
resell if you are able to find it. But uh, the Macbeth brand, uh, thought I'd whack it in for today's episode, $27 profit on a pair of shoes, always a great result. Obviously buying them at $4 probably helps that. Now here's another brand that I wanted to get across to you because I've personally bought it only because the comps were so good on eBay. It was a pair of Island Green Golf Polo shirts. Now I've ended up buying three of them in different colors. I've bought them collectively for $17 out of the op shop and they have sold as a bulk buy on Facebook Marketplace for 40 bucks. So I've ended up making $23 here off these polo shirts. Now, they sold in just seven days, so they were really fast moving on them. I believe they are a British brand of golf apparel, um, so I don't come across them too much here in Australia. To be honest, it was the first I'd seen of the brand, but when I did a comp search in the op shops, they did prop up as really good sales. So I had to buy it, and to get the result really quick in the space of just seven days, um, I wanted to get that out in today's episode to say if you do see Island Green in the golf polos, they are well worth getting your hands on. I think golf polos in general are very good because the material sort of holds. You don't get the breakaway like you do with other shirts. Um, it just holds. It always looks in very good condition when you buy. Um, so it always resells very good because it is in great condition. So I thought I'd put that in there. It was a bulk buy, three shirts, $23 profit, space of a week cool one to find in the op shops. I'm gonna keep looking out for it and hopefully you find it too. The next item up guys is this Kota Entertainment Unit from Amart Furniture. Now this one had been painted up white. It was the white Hampton style look that everyone goes for. So it was ticking all my boxes. Uh, there was no damage. It was solid hardwood, tick, tick, tick. Um, now this person on Facebook Marketplace was selling it for $50 and it was within a couple of hours of the listing that I'd actually spied it. So I was surprised that it was still available because it was a $700 piece of furniture. Coda, Amart Furniture, a very easy find on the internet to work out retail and it was $700. So I put that into my ad. I said it was in great condition. I said it was the White Hampton style look that everyone wants to go for in my title. And this one sold in the space of five days for $240. So I've made $190 on this one. It was a really big furniture profit, which I, I generally don't quite get the $200 in profit. So I was wrapped to get this one. Um, really for this guys with furniture, it's really crucial to know what's selling well in your area. And a great way to work out what's selling well in your area is walk into a furniture shop, go to the salesperson, ask them what's walking out your door fast, and then find out what it is retail. Once you've got that knowledge about what's selling well in your area, you can source it on Facebook Marketplace for the people that are trying to downsize at a really cheap price. That's the best way to do it. It's the best way to learn. So many people say to me, Matt, I don't know what pieces of furniture to buy. Well, go into a furniture store and ask them what sells well, and then source it on Marketplace and make your profit somewhere in between retail and what they're asking. Um, so awesome to do that. I've got the $240, got the $190 profit. Uh, this one's my third piece of furniture now for the week and things are rolling pretty well. The next item I've got for you is a pair of Nike Bruin High skate shoes that I bought off Facebook Marketplace. Now they were part of a shoe haul, a 16 pair shoe haul of near new and new Nike and Asics footwear. So here's another example of the shoes that I was able to buy. And these are the first ones that have been able to sell. These are the exact same pair and no doubt they'll sell pretty quick too. I've sold these Nikes for $45 and I've made a $30 profit. The results were 16 pairs purchased for a $250 spend. So I paid basically $15 for each pair of shoe and I'm really listing them on average around that sort of $50 to $60 mark. So you get $45 sale here for the very first pair out of that bulk of 16. I'm hoping I'm gonna to start to see a lot more shoes come through. Now, I'm not saying that Facebook Marketplace is the best place to source sort of bulk buy, and this one was really just a lucky one to see brand new, near new, uh, Nike and Asics footwear for $15. You don't come across it too much, but really just keep an eye out. Just do your filtered search, keep a save, keep a, you know, refreshing. You never know what you're gonna come across. Um, so to get this big shoe haul, to sell the first pair for a $30 profit, um, I was pretty wrapped and hopefully in the next future what sold videos, I'm gonna have a lot more of these shoes out of this shoe haul, selling for around that $30 to $40 profit per pair. So it's gonna be a great result. The Facebook Marketplace shoe haul earlier this week was a very, very good one to boost up my shoe inventory. Jumping back into furniture, guys, because as I mentioned, I have sold five pieces of furniture this week, and this one was an entertainment union. Again, just like that sort of uh, Kota Amart furniture piece that I sold for 240, this was a similar piece, just a little bit less on retail value. This one was the ICE uh, version. Um, so the brand or the, the make was called ICE. It was again an Amart furniture piece, so a really good quality piece of furniture. Um, it was that white look um, as well that I always look to go for, and it was in very good condition as well. So I always wanted to get my hands on this piece. Now I've paid a total of just $30 for this one. Um, very similar to the very first story um, that I spoke of in this episode. This guy was selling multiple pieces of furniture. I've turned up and I've bought this one for 30, but I've kept an eye on the other pieces that he's trying to sell as well. Um, so this specific piece I've ended up selling within the space of nine days 
for $150. So I've made $120 on this entertainment unit and I made $190 on the Coda entertainment unit. So TV entertainment units, they are still selling very well, uh, but try and obviously find in the style that's selling well in your area. Um, the next piece to this uh, scenario was he was also selling a single, just a single bedside table, um, Ikea branded. So it was an Ikea self-closing door was the unique feature to this one. So you kind of push it all the way through and then that last little bit, it self-closes. Um, so that's always worth a little bit more value. It was my unique, unique feature as to why I wanted to buy it. But the real reason that I wanted to buy it was the edit for $15. Um, so it was a really cheap piece of a very good piece of furniture. What I will say with the bedside tables is they typically don't sell very quick or very well when you just buy the one. You've got, you've got to buy the pair. Um, so if you're only buying the one, it's going to take a little longer. But I thought I'd take the risk here for just $15. And it proved to be the case uh, of a no risk scenario. It sold for $80, um, so I made a $65 profit. Um, so a $65 profit on the bedside that I bought off the same guy that I bought this ice entertainment unit. Um, and the ice entertainment units made me 120. So $185 off a two item purchase of Facebook Marketplace. Again, just asking the question, what's this scenario? What else have you got to sell? And the other coda and the bedside tables that I made the 200 on. So two transactions on Facebook Marketplace, two purchases, and that resulted basically in both of them being $200 profits. So just off two people today, uh, I've made $400 in profit. So it really goes to show guys, ask those questions on Facebook when you're speaking to your sellers, see what else I've got, and then negotiate and transact right there on the spot face to face. You'll get a great purchase result. And if you're buying correctly, you'll get a great sales result. The next item I've got for you is a pair of Jordan 2010 F2F basketball shoes. Now, these aren't gonna fit too many because they're a US 13, but they fit the basketball space very, very well. Now, I put a video up not too long ago, guys, on how I clean these shoes, and I put a lot of time and attention and a lot of detail into fixing up all the damage uh, to the pair. Now, they've come up very, very well in the photos, and they sat there on Marketplace, so I didn't put them on eBay, I just left them on Marketplace for a local pickup. Um, and they have sold for $45. So I bought them for 10 bucks. I've made a $35 profit on a pair of Jordans. Now, I probably could have got a few more dollars for these because they did present in very good condition. Um, but I, look, I was just happy to get the 45 in the end. I typically should sell shoes for around 30 to 35. So to get them for 45, they are the Jordan brand. They are gonna sell for a bit more. And uh, having put in the time and attention to really make sure these were in great condition has ultimately led, I think, to the, uh, the $45 sale price. So 35 bucks in my pocket for these, the Jordan shoes. Um, if you do find the Jordan brand, you're gonna make money because you're getting them in the op shops around the $10 and the Jordan brand is just so uh, sought after. A lot of sneaker heads out there that love to collect the Jordan brand. So do look out for it, do grab it. The basketball shoes, the Jordan brands, the F2Fs, 35 bucks in my pocket for these ones. This next item is the last of the video game consoles that I've bought over the last few weeks. It was the retro entertainment system. It had two controllers, two games, Mario Brothers and Super Mario Brothers. So very, very good games. Had an upscaler as well to improve the visual quality as well. So had kind of all the bells and whistles that you'd want in a retro entertainment console package. And I bought it on Facebook Marketplace for just $50. So the resale value told me on eBay it was worth about 130. Listed it for 130 buy it now, free postage. And that's exactly what it started with. So I've made collectively about an $80 profit. Take your fees, let's call it a $65 profit for this one. And as I mentioned, it's the last of the entertainment consoles that I've bought. So I'm gonna go out and now source more because it is a great category to play in year round. But specifically heading into Christmas, I think it's even a better time to get into this space if you aren't already. Um, it's a category that I've sort of fallen away from since my childhood, but I'm back and I'm back to make a profit. Um, it's a great category to be in, get into it if you're not. Um, this one was a good one, the retro entertainment unit for an $80 profit. So I hope you got a bit of a kick out of those 10 sales items, guys. 57% um, of my sales results this week came from furniture. I sold five pieces of furniture and of my collective sales results, and I'm about to show you, 57% of it was furniture sales. So also new back in this space because it is my most favorite, most profitable category. So I'm just wrapped to get five in a week. Um, I typically get about three to four. So this was a very good week in furniture. If we have a look at the sales numbers and I'll pull the grid up for you to have a bit of a look at here. I've sold 27 items. So 27 is about the average now. It's sort of just tick under 30 is, is what I'm typically doing uh, week to week. Um, the cost of goods this week is pretty much what it always is around that $324 mark. Uh, my total sales because of the furniture results has been $1,293. And when I'm only buying those items for $324, I've made a profit of $969. 
Now, because there was no retail arbitrage in there this week, guys, I've been able to have a profit margin of 75%, which is back to sort of, you know, my pre-retail uh, arbitrage days is about the same sort of profit margin that I used to play in when I'm just sourcing off Facebook Marketplace and op shops. So great to get back into that profit margin. You don't have to sell as much to make your profit. Um, $970 profit, I know that that's the figure that I need to be on my $50,000 a year paycheck that I wanna be at. So this kind of has been a big tick of the week for me. It's kind of hit all the boxes. I've been able to get my pieces of furniture done, which is half basically of what I do from a sales results perspective when I'm hitting the target number that I want. And I've obviously got 22 other items in there from like clothing and shoes as well, which I kind of need to keep topping up my numbers to get to around $1,000 in profit. Um, so that's kind of the, I would say the blueprint perfect week for where I want to continually get to on average. I'm probably not on average there just yet, but this week is a perfect week to show me that you need five furniture pieces, certainly in my world, and uh, I need I need clothing and shoes to continue to get to that $1,000. Um, so profit margin of 75%, 1,000 uh, bucks in, in sales. It's been a great week, and it really has been in large part based on that furniture selling. Um, so next week, I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I'm gonna look to source five pieces of furniture and hopefully move them all in that same week and hopefully bring you for an end of October review um, a really good finish to the month and a really good overall return on total sales numbers for the month of October. So big week guys, all wrapped up there. Let me know in the comments below yet if you haven't done so already, your best sales item, your best profit for this week. Um, hope you've enjoyed this one. Please let me know in the comments below any questions that you have around reselling. Um, let's get the conversation started. But uh, otherwise, thank you very much for tuning in guys. It is always a pleasure to get you tuning into these videos. I do very much appreciate it. And uh, I look forward to catching you in the next episode. Thanks very much guys, bye.